I was petrified of death. Uh, and then later on, later on in life, years later, and you meet him at the reunions. He's an absolute sweetheart. You just don't want to get in his his bad side. Uh, but you know, there was certain protocol that he set early on that I just couldn't understand. And not that I couldn't understand, I wasn't used to it. Like, like I said before, the chain of command. Like, who's who, and who, who do I call sergeant? Who do I call captain? Who do I call general? Who do I call? Yeah, I was so nervous about all that. I didn't know any of this this stuff. So I used to mess up all the time, and I used to call him General. And he'd be like, but Connie, get down and give me 20. And I never knew why. And you know, I used to call my, my weapon a gun. I used to get killed for that. And I, I did more push-ups than anybody ever did in that boot camp because I always called him General, and I always called the weapon the gun. But later on, you know, like a week or two into it, he started getting a kick out of it. Now we really started bonding. It was almost like comical. It was like, dude, like, I was the uh, the comic relief of the uh, of of the boot camp, so to speak. And there was a couple other ones too. Like Scotty was pretty funny too, and and there was a few other ones too who brought the comic relief. Richard Richard Spate, he'd be great to talk to. But I wanted to call my girlfriend at the time and see what she was up to in New York City. <laughs> it was like twelve o'clock at night. Everybody's sleeping. I went and knocked on there. You know, I went and stepped in his office, and he was in there with all the cadre, and I just stepped right in well, without stopping and saluting and saying, you know, and I walked in, I called him General, I asked him I could use his phone, and his face dropped. And he, <laughs> he was like, well, Connie, where, oh, you just stepped in here without saluting me, asking me, uh, you called me gen and General, now you want to use my phone for what? And I could tell they were all getting a kick out of this a little bit, but I, I could tell I was definitely going to be paying for this mercifully any second. Uh, and I think I did. I think I, I think I think I got guard duty because of it. Uh, and I told him, I said, "Well, I want to call my girlfriend," you know. And he was like, "For what? You're you're in a boot camp." I said, "Well, I just want to make sure that you know. I just want her to know I'm alive." And then he goes, "Well, is there any reason why she would think you're dead?" And I went, oh. and he just goes, get the hell out of my office, Picante. Now I start to leave his office, but leave his office without saluting again. <laughs>